Hey, Chris Cosby here, CEO of Parker HL System, coming to you with this week's edition of What's Your Wild Wednesday. Uh, today I have Courtney Painter with me. From She is a speech pathologist from our Parker H East Campus. Courtney, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So where are you from? So I'm from Chattanooga. Okay, born, raised, yes. Chattanooga. Yes. All right, like a part of Chattanooga or like Chattanooga? Um, I live in North Chattanooga now. I grew up in Hickson. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So did you go, where'd you go to high school? I went to Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences for okay. high school. Because I know in Chattanooga, like when you say, where'd you go to school? Right. They don't mean where you went to college. They meant where, right, where'd, where'd you, you go, go to high, high school? school? Right. Yeah, it's, yes. it's completely different from in Alabama. I was like, did you go to Auburn or did you go to Alabama? Absolutely. Yeah. And so um, family, family, all your family live in the area still? Yes, family's here in Chattanooga. Um, I have a 15-year-old son. Okay. Yes, so he's a freshman in high school and um, two dogs that keep me really busy. Where does he go to school? <laughs> he goes to Baylor. He, okay, that's, yes. where, that's where my kids, my kids also go to school there. Oh, oh wow, I didn't yeah, know that. So they, yeah, so they love it. Yes, it's, 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 it's fantastic. It's been good for them, for yeah. sure. Moving them in the middle of middle school, it's been, it's been good for them. Absolutely. So, so um, any hobbies, anything to do for fun? Um, just working out and reading and really spend most of my time following my son around on the tennis court, so that keeps me busy, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. understand that. So, um, you know, I'm sure you've seen these videos. Uh, I always say that we have our good days, we have our bad days, and some of, you know, when we have our bad days, something internal's gotta drive us to help us get through those, and I think that's part of what your why. Mm -hmm. So, well, I what's think, your why? I think anyone that's here working in healthcare, we are here because we wanna help people, and we feel like what we do makes a difference. As a speech pathologist, what I do is like, swallowing and dysphagia mm -hmm. um, specialty. So I work in both the NICU, teaching, helping families and premature babies feed and working with staff. And then on the adult side, I see, so I see really from premature birth all the way to death. And I feel like I have this opportunity where I get to work with families, work with patients and really advocate for patient care and help, help people when they're having their bad days. Right, right. So, um and I think, you know, I've said this in several previous videos, I just, I love to help people, be around people, and so it's kind of what I'm hearing from, from you as well. I have an additional question, because I, I think I want to add this week. Um, Why did you become a speech pathologist? Oh, wow. Um, just interested in the research and the anatomy and physiology of swallowing. It's something that when you're not having a problem with it, you don't think about it, you right. take it for granted. Um, 26 cranial, 26 muscles, six cranial nerves, every time you swallow, it's a really complicated task and really affects our quality of life. I know I look forward to what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. <laughs> so patients are the same way yeah. and um, I like the science behind it. Okay, all right. Well, I appreciate what you do every day at Parker H. East. I've spent a little bit of time with you in meetings over there and I know you do an excellent job and provide great care for our, our little ones as well as our, our older patients well, as well, so. Thank you very much. I appreciate what you do. Well, thanks for joining me. Thank you for yeah, having me. Absolutely. So that's this week's edition of What's Your Wild Wednesday. We'll catch you on the next one.